Good day. Yung topic natin ngayon ay yung concept ng anti-primitive. Now, if you go through other books, other references, you will find na iba-iba yung approaches nila for introducing the concept of the anti-derivative. So, I'm following the prescription ng curriculum, which is to introduce the anti-derivative as the inverse operation to the derivative. So, let's say I have a function a and I have a function b. Tapos, pag kinuha ko yung derivative ni function a, makukuha ko si function b. Yung approach natin ay babalik ta rin natin yun na kung meron tayong function b na derivative siya ni function a, then tatawagin nating anti-derivative ni function b si function a. Now, let's formalize that by a definition. A function, capital F, is called the antiderivative of the function lowercase f on some interval i. If the derivative of capital F of x is equal to lowercase f of x for all values of x in that interval. So, it's possible that our interval will just be between two numbers a and b Pwede rin naman siyang interval from A to positive infinity or pwede rin yung interval natin is the entire set of real numbers. As long as we have this relationship between capital F of X and lowercase f of X. So let's suppose no, that we have two functions na si capital F of X is equal to 7x squared minus 3x plus 2 tapos si lowercase f of X ay 14x minus 3. Now we should be able to quickly see no, na si lowercase f of X derivative siya ni capital F. You may want to make sure by pausing this video and just double checking that the derivative of capital F of X is equal to the function lowercase f of X. Okay, so I hope na chinek nyo nga siya, or at least kahit mentally. So since the derivative of capital F of X or capital F prime of X is equal to lowercase f of X, we say that capital F of X is an antiderivative of lowercase f of X. Now, let's suppose no, that we have a second function, capital G of X, and si capital G of X ay equal siya sa 7x squared minus 3x minus 5. So, hindi siya equal sa capital F of X. It is a totally different function. Kung baga, kung ipa-plot natin siya, it's 7 units below si capital F of X. So, it's not totally the same. It's, it's not the same function. But if we take the derivative of capital G of X, the derivative of capital G of X will also be 14X minus 3. Again, I invite you to check na tama yun. So that would imply no, that we have two different functions, capital F, capital G, but they have the same derivative, si lowercase f of X, 14X minus 3. So we say that capital G of X is also an antiderivative of lowercase f of X. And ang implication nito is that antiderivatives are not necessarily unique. So pwedeng meron tayong function na isa, lowercase f of X, 14x minus 3, and it could have more than one antiderivative. Pwede si capital F, 7x squared minus 3x plus 2. Pwede si capital G, 7x squared minus 3x minus 5. Pero si capital F at si capital G, isa lang yung pwede nilang maging derivative, si lowercase f of x. So let's take a look at another pair of functions. So our new capital F of x is equal to cosine 2x plus 3. Tapos si cosine 2x plus 3, antiderivative siya ni lowercase f of x, which is equal to negative 2 sine 2x. What this means is that if we take the derivative of capital F, if we take the derivative of cosine 2x plus 3, we should get C lowercase f, C negative 2 sine 2x. This might not be as easy para i-compute mentally. So again, I invite you to pause this video and do the derivation, find the actual derivative of capital F of x, just to verify na equal siya sa lowercase f of x. And this is also a good practice ng ating skills sa pag-differentiate. Okay, now that you verified na tama yung assertion natin, na derivative nga ni capital F si lowercase f, we could say that capital F is an antiderivative of lowercase f. Pero as we have seen dun sa earlier example, the antiderivative is not necessarily unique. And in fact, all the functions of the form y equals cosine 2x plus c, where c is any constant, they will all be antiderivatives of lowercase f of x. 
So what we are establishing here is not only that hindi unique ang antiderivative ng isang function, but in fact, there will be an infinite number of antiderivatives for a given function. So para hindi natin sila kailangang ilista lahat, ginagamit natin yung notation na plus C to say na meron pa tayong i-add or pwede pa tayong mag-add ng kahit anong constant dun sa antiderivative na yun. And they will all be antiderivatives of our function. So in this case, we say that the form y equals 2x plus c, siya yung general antiderivative nung function lowercase f of x natin. Si cosine 2x plus c is the general antiderivative of negative 2 sine 2x. Kasi nga, yung plus c na yun, it takes the place of all the constants that we could use that will still make that function the antiderivative of lowercase f of x. Now, if we choose a particular value for c, like in this case, positive 3, then yung function na cosine 2x plus 3, y equals cosine 2x plus 3, dahil we chose a particular value for c, we call that a particular antiderivative of lowercase f of x. In this, in this case, negative 2 sine 2x. So again, pag plus c, it's the general antiderivative. Pag plus as a particular constant, then it's a particular antiderivative. Now, let us formalize yung pinag-usapan natin with a theorem. So, if capital F is a particular antiderivative of lowercase f on some interval i, then every antiderivative of lowercase f on that interval i will be given by capital F of x plus c where capital C is an arbitrary constant, and we call this the constant of integration. So, himayin natin ang konti itong theorem na to. So, like here, ang sabi sa atin, kung nakahanap na tayo ng isang particular antiderivative, kunyari cosine 2x plus 3, it is a particular antiderivative of negative 2 sine 2x. Sabi dito, to find the general antiderivative, maglalagay lang tayo ng plus C sa kanya. So, parang, kunyari, cosine 2x plus 3, plus C, in a sense that generalizes the antiderivative already. Pero kasi, you have plus 3, tapos talagay mo ng plus C, e di yung 3 plus C, constant din yun. O si, i-combine mo na sila into one constant para tawagin mo na lang uh, cosine 2x plus C na itago mo na sa ibang variable yung plus 3 mo pa, nabats may plus C ka pa kanina. So, to improve our understanding, we'll move on to solving sample exercises on antiderivatives dun sa next videos natin. So, see you on the next videos at salamat sa pakinggan.